Hey, hey, what's up you guys? Hey, look at the sun rising over the equipment over there. It's a pretty view. <laughs> Danny has the international truck running because he's gonna get a load haul first thing this morning. It's actually pretty cool this morning, like 61 degrees. But we're gonna head on to the peanut field, you guys, try and get these peanuts finished up today. Getting that view again there. It's a little foggy out this morning. So if you watch yesterday's video all the way to the end, when I pulled up to the shop, what did I holler? Oh, he came outside with a box. <laughs> so he found the solenoid and I came and put it on and I finished spraying what was left in the barrel there. So the barrel's empty and we're gonna start over. We're gonna use our squeegee here to get this dew off of the windows, save some paper towels. I'm telling you, man, this thing has come in handy indeed. Got a lot of mud on the windows too, though. It's actually still some water standing in some of the rows. I splashed real hard yesterday. Let's see, we're gonna go around to the other side. The front, I've discovered, is best to get from that step right there. Put our steps out. And definitely got to clean this side here. Oh, okay, don't, oh, wait, wait, don't. No, 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 we don't do splits. I don't do splits. <laughs> I don't do splits. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Yeah, man. Woo! <laughs> I got some paper towels in my back pocket to get that extra, extra clean Ugh, wiping. But man, hey, that really, really right there, that do really, man. Uh, all right, let's see if I can get around here. I've actually never tried to climb on that step right there from over here. What I did the other day was, uh, whoa. actually, I never, I've never stood on that step before. Truth be told, I just noticed it the other day when I was cleaning this front window. There's no step over there, so you got to climb on the tire and so to have your foot on the fuel tank over there which really is not a proper step yeah i got a lot of mud on the front window there okay you guys i'm gonna take the paper towel and wipe off the front the side one is okay and once i get filled up i will check back in all right, so we left off here and there's a, I always forget how to pronounce it. Is it Hypsipania, Hypsipania? Some type of water plant down there that has grown up like super tall that I need to pull up. I don't know if it's on this pass or not, but truth be told, I need my rubber boots, man, because it is saturated out there. I think it's probably gonna be on the next pass, but I'm gonna hop out and get, oh, it is closer to the other pass. I might hop out and get it now, just in case. Oh, it's good, it's good. Yeah, okay. We'll get it on the next pass, you guys. All right. Man, I got to walk way over there, man. That's a long ways. I'm going to get real saturated. Oh, man, these 
bushes are soaking wet. This great big old joker. That dew is cool. I guess I can pull it up. Oh my goodness, you guys, really. I can't pull that up. I'm loud, I know. I cannot pull that up. Oh, oh. wow, man. Okay, so. Just gonna have to break it off. Wow, that thing is rooted. I ain't even gonna try and pull this one up because it's just as big. Okay, we'll break you off too. And then this one, if I can't pull this one up, I gotta go and get my Wheaties. <laughs> that thing got a serious tap root on it. Oh, and look at the peanut enrooted in there. Pulled up a peanut. I'm just gonna throw them on the weights. I guess these wet bushes gonna clean the rims off too here in a little while. That'll do. And we're off. Don't y'all fall off now. I don't wanna have to get out in these peanut bushes again. <laughs> Throw them over here. Put them over here with the poke weed bush. Them poke, them poke berries. Yeah, look at look at the tires shining. You guys got a different angle there, huh? I said, you know what? Since this is the last spraying with the big boy sprayer, I give you guys a view from this way. Show you what all I gotta do. This pass right here is sort of easy. But when I get down to this hedge row, we're gonna have to fold in my left boom and I think I'll have to keep my right boom spraying. Now don't y'all worry about my peasy hair back there. <laughs> it's about time for a haircut. But you always gotta keep looking right and left, left and right. Make sure your booms are spraying right. That's my boom control, that what controls the different booms. And then that controls the boom too as far as moving in and out. So I had to turn off my left and the middle section. I gotta back up and fold that side in so that it don't run into trees. That's right, out here in the country, we got a bunch of trees you gotta watch out for. And the good thing I like about this tractor being that there's so much to operate is that automatic transmission. You can set it and it'll go through the gears for you. Somebody got a killer brew with some fertilizer. So I gotta fold that boom back out. I know you can't see it, but I gotta turn my middle section on and my left section again, take off. 
got a grass field up here. And with the angle rolls, you gotta cut them off as the rolls stop. Don't wanna run too far in the grass field out there. And this pass right here, you're gonna see how close I gotta run up on the trees and stuff. my gear shift that's the throttle you would think I was running into the bushes <laughs> and so now I gotta fold that boom in so that it don't hit the trees I need to turn it here because I only have one woo, one boom to spray and that will be my left one turn off the other ones and that'll do it Head back down here to the longer rolls. Made it back down to this end. Watching out for light poles and everything. One, two, so I gotta go around this. That's three. Okay. Watch me work. Y'all do that often though. <laughs> Right here. But 
you guys sprayed out a barrel with me. <laughs> Let me make my mark. And I gotta go fill up. Just as soon as I left you guys, the mount fell off the window. <laughs> That's crazy. But anyway, let me go fill up. All right, so I filled up with a, just a small piece of a barrel because I only got about, about three rounds left. And I also went and got my rubber boots. Of course, now the peanuts are almost dry. I also had to take Dan to go get a truck that we had left at the field. But we right here don't want this pigweed growing like it is in the peanuts. Oh, that was an easy pull up. There's a few more out there over that way that I need to pull up. There's a lot on the end row, but we can mow them with the bush hog and keep them cut off. All them jokers there, man. Yeah, that's a horrible sight. Get this one while I'm at it. Yeah. Got some more right here. Ooh, that's got a lot of seed on it. Oh no. Oh no, it is seeding out. Oh gosh. I don't even think that one was in the ground all that good. It was cut off, that's what it is. Put this joker over here. Got some over there we're gonna have to get to. Is that one? Yeah, that is one. I'm coming for your booger. Uh, there's still a nice amount of dew on these leaves. Surprised at how easy they are to pull up. Oh, that one broke off. I'm going to grab them down there, too. And, uh, I check back in. Man, I keep finding them, you guys. Wow, we bunch of little ones down in the road where you can't see. Maybe this is the last batch. I've had my share of walking for the day. <laughs> Put them over here. Them jokers, they'll mess around and take root right there. But at least they're out of the field where they won't be disturbed. All right, you guys. So I just got through rinsing out the sprayer three times. And since we're on Father Beaver Dam Farm, we might as well run in right quick. And it's about my break time. <laughs> and check out Beaver Dam in the middle i got my rubber boots still on too so i know that the weeds had grew up pretty bad out here last time we were out here so i'm pretty sure they still got water on them now wait a minute wait 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 are you trying to tell me 
the beavers you guys no no wait 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 we are a good ways away from the creek i just walked in the woods and the beavers have been way out here what that is crazy that's already a bad sign <laughs> that's already a bad sign what made them come way out here to try to get a tree I'm glad we ain't ran in no spider webs yet okay there's a spider web there oh <gasps> I'm only gonna go to Beaver Dam in the middle. Not middle, I keep saying middle. Uh, wait a minute. D Beaver Dam in the middle. Beaver Dam at the lodge. Oh, Beaver Dam above the lodge. <laughs> I gotta get my dams right. Been so long. Wow. Ooh, this stuff. Ooh. Ooh wee, ooh wee, you guys, and I'm seeing uh oh, I'm seeing water backed up here. That's not good. Ah, uh, beaver dam above the lodge. Oh boy, you guys. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> that's not good they have rebuilt some here right but the water is crazy high on this side of the dam so they must have rebuilt or built another dam down by beaver dam in the middle Y'all know we've been getting a little more rain than normal. So that must have encouraged the beavers to rebuild. I'm not walking through there. See how it grow back up? Oh, man. This is something else to add to the list. That is not good, you guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. Let me just stop thinking about it. Can't do nothing about it right now. <laughs> Steven Beaver, put those pom poms up. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, oh, wow, you guys. Oh, that's crazy, though, that the beavers came all the way out here. I guess they think that because that tree is so tall. It'll fall down in the creek. Look, they've been eating on this side of it too. The way that tree is leaning, it'll fall in the daggone field out there. Oh, I got something on the lens. I'm just now realizing that. Had some water on the lens. Didn't even know it. My bad. But anyway, wow. Oh my goodness. Wait, there's two more trees down there. We'll have to check this out at another time. That is crazy. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh. <laughs> oh. My, oh my. Well, anyway, I'm about to eat my chicken salad because I'm hungry today. I've been exerting enough energy. <laughs> oh. I'm hungry. All right, you guys, say bye bye to the big boy sprayer. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have to spray peanuts anymore. Like I said uh, earlier this week, y'all remember when Dan went to go check the peanuts to see how ready they were? That was Monday. So right now, he said there's about 10 more days before they're ready to dig. So we shouldn't have to spray fungicide on them anymore. Hopefully if the weather cooperates and we can get the digger ready and things, uh, we'll be digging soon. So we'll get the sprayer moved in 
later today I actually have to do some more bush hogging y'all remember we didn't finish bush hogging so I'm about to head to the shop I don't know if I'm gonna start now or if I'm gonna go ahead and take lunch I guess I'll decide when I get there so Danny has gotten back from hauling that first load with the international there and I have decided after having done a few things that since I have the truck close to me I might as well go ahead and take lunch because when I get going with that bush hog I'm going to have to dodge from field to field and I won't have the truck with me I will have to have somebody to pick me up so I'm gonna go ahead and do lunch before I even get started mowing around the peanut ends Alrighty, we have arrived looks like somebody's getting ready to do some spraying there we came and we conquered <laughs> time to head on back you guys all right so we're heading out with the bush hog now so we are actually back at father beaver dam farm there was a place here that i forgot to hit and i forgot it basically because you got to go down the peanut road to get to it there's actually several places like this where i gotta go down the peanut rolls to get to it so i'm not gonna prolong myself because y'all didn't tell me that i had already been so long today as it is man it's a super tight place i can hardly maneuver around this pole and the bushes man it's sort of sloppy looking but it's the best i can do with the space that i had there was another place that needed it i think there used to be a barn there we just riding through okay so we got another little patch here there used to be some type of metal here rudy got it up with the backhoe i forgot this patch as well well i think that'll do right yeah that looks much better and this is uh, i was about to say poke weed farm i always get it mixed up black eyed susan farm okay so y'all remember this is where we finished up harvesting the corn yesterday but over here to the left is bear field number two so i've got to go down these rows to get to this middle section just like the other places there are middle sections that I didn't get and actually this time Dan had called me to the cornfield when I was at this farm so I really didn't have time to come down here and get it yeah the cuckleberries are lovely out here man wow wow <laughs> much better you guys man he put in a whole house right there wow <laughs> some of you probably thought I was being prideful and arrogant the other day when I said I don't approve of that guy mowing with the bat wing bush hog 
But let me show you something now. I know that bat wing bush hog is wider than this. Now watch when I let it down. And I'm not even close to the ditch yet. As close as I can get. But you know what? Let me go ahead and turn it on. Alright. You see how there's strands that haven't been mowed, right? I can get this close and I'm mowing stuff that I know he definitely could have got you guys to where it wouldn't be like that right there. I was just talking serious. I'm mowing stuff that he left. And the wings float. With me, I got my tire almost in the ditch. But I'm cleaning it up. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough, that's enough. I just wanted to let you guys know <laughs> that I wasn't being prideful and arrogant, okay? <laughs> I was just speaking truth, okay? All right, so now, okay. I'm gonna continue on. Ugh. We're gonna go on to Mother Beaver Dam number two side. <laughs> So we have arrived at the parking area here at Mother Beaver Dam number two farm. Got to get that road mowed out and all of the ends on this end that we normally travel when we're on the e-bike. So I'm not going to worry your patience long, but y'all do know when we get around to the far side by the entrance that we're going to check in. I'm going to let that be the last portion of my mowing to make sure that I get everything done before I go in there because by the time I get finished with the mowing it'll be the end of the day and I should be free to go in I'm trying to get it cleaned up along the woods here where we travel along the side of the peanuts there were some ruts up there that it started digging in I had to sort of pick up but see how much I can get anyway we'll be back beaver drive so right here is where I got the message from Dan that I needed to head to the cornfield one of the days I was bush hogging and right here as you can see there's no peanuts planted because this is sort of like a water furrow that drains the water out of the field into the creek. And it's full of sickle pods. That's all right. We're going to take care of it. Talk to me. Do you approve of my mowing? <laughs> Be real with me now. Tell me the truth. You won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's how I like it. Alrighty. We are pretty much finished mowing. And here's Beaver Drive. We're gonna enter in, see if they've rebuilt from, I forgot how many days ago it was. Two days? I think it was two days. No spider web. Nice. Grab up our potato rake. No spider webs still. Nice. Beaver dry. Okay, here's the spider web. And there's a mosquito flying around me too, so I'm not gonna tear it all the way down. Maybe the mosquito will fly into the, the web. <laughs> oh boy, you guys. There's more water over here today, right here, than there was, oh, the mosquitoes, than there was 
two days ago. <laughs> oh boy. Man. Don't look too bad down there. Oh. <laughs> you guys. The beavers are declaring war. Wait a minute, let's make sure there's no snakes here. The beavers are declaring war, you guys. Do you see this? Man, I should have brought my rubber boots. I know, I know, you talking junk about me. I can't be wearing them things all day with my flat arches. Y'all see this, man? Uh-uh. Uh-uh, beavers. Now, here's the thing, you guys. Oh, they cut them a nice tree there. That's a nice one. I'm actually thinking about coming out here tomorrow, right? But I need to cut my grass. I need to change the oil in my tie hole. There's a lot that I need to do. So if I actually come out here, it's going to be a sacrifice. But I tell you what, we out here now. And we getting it removed. We getting it flowing, beavers. Hey, we mean business too. <laughs> I forgot who that said I need to wake up early Saturday. Set my alarm clock early and get up. <laughs> oh man. That's right, beavers. Ugh. Two can play that game. But I tell you what, they didn't waste no time, did they? Ooh, that was a nice drop on my nose. Okay, now, oh, wait a minute, the water's getting high. All right, Terrell, don't get too into it. You don't got chest waders on. <laughs> so the beavers have definitely gotten active again, huh? Okay. Okay. I'm going to let that do for now. We got it flowing. Team Terrell has got it flowing again. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get ready and wrap the video on up. I'm gonna do it right here at Mother Beaver Dam number two. That's right. Hey, if you've enjoyed watching on today, consider smashing that like button for us. <laughs> Throw a comment in the comment section. Let me know what's on your mind. And if you want to, go ahead and subscribe. Join the family. It don't matter if you want to be Team Beaver. I, I welcome you anyhow. <laughs> but you know, I was thinking back earlier to how I was trying to pull up those plants, how they were strongly rooted. You know, as believers, it's important that we are strongly rooted in the faith. There's so many things that we face in life that try to knock our faith try to get us off course, try to get us discouraged. You know, it could be sickness. It could be uh, problems financially. It could be problems with relationships with people, problems at the job, problems with your vehicle, you know, all types of things, man, that have you questioning, well, you know, why is all this happening? 
Where is God in the midst of it? Let me tell you. He's right there with you. The enemy wants you to think otherwise. But right in the midst of what you're going through, God is with you. And he'll give you peace if you continue to trust him. Yeah, I know the things that we go through, it's not easy. It's not easy at times. But if you just continue to keep the faith, don't let nothing steal your faith from believing in Jesus. And you'll experience the supernatural peace of God that passes all understanding. I promise you. I promise you. So keep encouraged. Like I always say at the end of the videos, man, keep encouraged. All right? So, you guys stay blessed. Stay tuned too, okay? So you know what we do. I got to go somewhere, man, because they starting to get an advantage over us everywhere now. <laughs> you guys, keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.